Welcome to The Wonders of Watercolour. I'm Ray Campbell and every week on this channel we create and bring to you brand new tutorials full length so that you can learn to paint as you paint no matter what your level. But this week we're going to be doing something very different. I'm going to be taking a back seat and handing my channel over to I you. I recently reached out to my community over on Facebook and I asked them to submit their favourite paintings from our YouTube channel so that I can show them off to you and showcase their work. So this week I'm going to share with you some of the paintings that my wonderful community have so done. They can have a chance to show you the wonderful creations that they have done. Keep in mind that some of the paintings I'm going to show you are from people who maybe have very little watercolour experience and have or even never painted before. So by showing you these paintings, I'm hoping that you too will find inspiration to start your painting journey. Most of the paintings that I'm going to show you are from our YouTube channel, where we have over 200 free full length tutorials so that you can join in. And we even give you trace downs if you don't like the drawing element. One or two of them are from our Patreon. Each of the paintings that I'll show you, I will put a link to that video on the screen so that if you want to check it out for yourself, you can click on that link and it'll take you right to that video. So I'm gonna take a back seat and hand it over to my wonderful community. So let's make a start with our first artist. Our first artist is Wendy. Wendy has painted this absolutely beautiful, glossy strawberry. When I launched the strawberry tutorial a couple of years ago, this was a bit of a challenge for me too. So I was absolutely blown away by Wendy's rendition of this gorgeous strawberry. Notice how Wendy has retained that highlight to give the strawberry shape and form and that glossy look, as well as the gorgeous disappearing edge that we see there, making it look really natural. Wendy tells me that she's 63 years old and and living in Reading in England and hasn't picked up a paintbrush since leaving school. Um, Wendy has been learning to paint for a few years and she loved the strawberry because it was one of the very first paintings that she was really proud of. And I think you'll agree, it's a stunning painting. I will link it on the top of your screen so that if you want to try that out for yourself, you can click through and do it um, along, paint along with us and see if you can create uh, a strawberry in watercolour. Like I said, we even provide you with a trace down and it's one of our older tutorials. So for that outline, you'll find it over on our Facebook group. Thank you very much, Wendy, for sharing this with us. Um, it's a stunning painting and I know I've seen a lot of your other work so you're an amazing artist so thank you very much for letting us showcase your work for our first showcase video. Let's move on to artist number two. Next up we have Brigitta. The first painting I'm going to show you from Brigitta is this gorgeous magnolia. Now I particularly like this piece because it used to be our channel banner over here on YouTube, but I show you how to paint it um, as part of a tutorial, which I'm going to link on the screen now. But here we have this gorgeous magnolia flower. Brigitta says that this is one of her favorites from our tutorials. And a little bit about uh, Brigitta here. Brigitta tells me that she's really enjoyed learning how to layer watercolour paint. I know that sometimes that's one of the things that people struggle with is layering the paint so that you don't get that muddy look. Um, Brigitta says that she's really enjoyed learning how to do that without losing the highlights and how to learn to be patient and get past that ugly stage that we all are familiar with, with watercolour. She tells me that she loves watercolours and colour pencils the most, and I consider myself not just to be an artist, but a colour nerd and collector, as I love swatching, comparing colours and learning about pigments. I've also linked uh, Brigitte's Instagram account here on your screen so that you can check out some of her other lovely pieces. So we also have another painting from Brigitte, which is this gorgeous yellow rose. This is something that we did on our channel a little while ago. And again, this is a stunning piece. Yellow with watercolour can be a tricky thing to achieve without, like, without it looking too dirty or muddy. And I think that you'll agree that she's achieved a beautiful painting here. I really, really love it. I think sometimes with a little bit of practice, you can get these lovely tidy edges that Brigitte has shown us for both of these pieces. I think that when you're layering with watercolour paints, it's difficult. It can be difficult to achieve that look without it going muddy. And I think you'll agree that Brigitte has achieved that for 
with both of these pieces. I particularly like the magnolia. Um, the colours are beautiful and really well blended. So thank you very much to Brigitte for letting us showcase your work. So next, the next artist that we have is Rose. Rose is one of our admins from our Facebook group. She keeps us nice and safe and well informed. And Rose lives in Australia. Rose has submitted two rose flowers. One is from our Patreon and one is from YouTube. First up, we have our Patreon tutorial. This is from our Clematis level, and this is a stunning painting of a rose. Now, when you look at this painting, um, it, what stands out to me is the level of color that Rose has achieved here. Achieving depth and color with watercolor can be a tricky process, but Rose has absolutely nailed it in this piece. If you're looking at the contours of the rose and the shading, it hasn't gone muddy or overworked. Rose has achieved these beautiful sharp outlines that make this painting really stand off the page and really come together nicely. If you're looking at the center of the rose and the gentle shading that she's achieved, I think you'll agree that it's a stunning piece. Now this one is a Patreon only tutorial and if you were interested in joining our Patreon, this is uh, from our Clematis level, I will link it in the comments and I will pin that comments so that you can join us there if you want to. But you don't have to join Patreon to learn how to paint because we have loads of free ones on YouTube as I've said. And next up, another one from Rose is this Rose painting here. What I love about this is the different colors and how it's showing the brightness of the rose with all those different folds without it being too complex. So another one from Rose, which I will link on the screen. So if you want to check that one out for yourself, do take a look. Our next artist is a lady called Catherine. And we have three paintings from this lady. First of all, we have this stunning canna lily. This is a Patreon only tutorial. The reason I've chosen this one is I absolutely love the blending and the colors that Catherine has achieved here. Notice how on the petals where they curve over, Catherine's achieved this really soft blendy blur, which makes it look as though the light is hitting off the petals and it's really, really beautifully presented. The colour glazing here that Catherine has achieved is second to none. Notice in the central part of the flower that you've got this glaze of orange or yellow in the middle and it just makes it look really, really natural and a stunning piece. Alongside the pop of green that we see on the bottom, I think you'll agree that this is a gorgeous painting. In fact, this is one of my favourites from Patreon and Catherine has absolutely nailed it. The next one that Catherine has painted is these beautiful apples. Again, another Patreon only tutorial. All of the ones that Catherine has submitted are from Patreon. So we'll go through these one by one. The next one we have are these beautiful apples and we have the wilting rose. Now the apples I particularly like because they are just so three-dimensional and you've got the sharpness of the leaves. But my fav one of my favorites is the rose here. The wilted rose is so, is so special to me because it's, it's something that looks so unique and different. To capture that wilting look in the flower isn't easy and I think Catherine has nailed it here. Let's just, let me tell you a little bit about Catherine. Catherine tells me that she was gifted a set of watercolors back in Christmas 2022, which sat unused for nearly 12 months because she had no idea how to use them. Then she came across our YouTube tutorials when looking for instructions on how to paint. Following along with your videos was so easy and I started to learn and then I joined Patreon. So I found many more instructional videos that are in more detail. I love the variety of subjects and that you supply the sketch, which makes attempting beautiful images less daunting. I don't have some of the paints that you use, but with swatches, it's easy to find close matches or substitutes from the paint I have. Painting following your tutorials is now my time to relax and unwind. What I love about this is Catherine has used substitutions for her paints. Now, if you are familiar with my channel, you'll hear me say time and again, use what you have. I'm a great advocate of not going out and buying a ton of paints for your tutorials. Use what you have in your palette. There's often something, there will inevitably be something in there that makes it easy to match your colors to the colors that I'm using. And I always say in my videos, if you get stuck, 
message me. Let me know in the comments and I'll be able to help you. Thank you so much to, to Catherine for sharing us these beautiful pieces. And we need to move on to our next artist, who is Etienne. Etienne is sharing with us this lovely magnolia flower. I think it's called a French magnolia and I will link it on the screen here so that you can click through and do that one. And Etienne tells me that um, he benefits greatly from our tutorials and thank you very much for your time and effort. Well, thank you for um, being part of our community. As I said, we have a fantastic community right here on YouTube as well as our private Facebook group with the same name, The Wonders of Watercolour. Um, this little painting here from Etienne is is so pretty because I love the colours. I think he's blended it well together. I don't think he's been painting very long. He tells me that the Magnolia was the first tutorial that he did with me. He says, I remember finishing it and it made me feel good and it inspired me to try harder at painting even though I sucked at it. Well, I don't think you do suck at it. I think you've done a fantastic job. I love the colours that you've chosen. You've matched the colours really well and I love the middle where you've got this burst of red or burgundy coming out into that colour. So thank you very much, Etienne, for sharing your painting with us. And next up, we have a plethora of paintings from the lovely Terry. Terry has quite a story to tell us, and I'm going to be talking you through what she has told me while I show you her lovely paintings on our screen. Some of the paintings are from YouTube and some of them are from Patreon. Uh, we'll link a couple of them on the top on the top here as usual, but let me just tell you a little bit about Terry. Terry, I'm reading from my notes here again. Terry tells me, I picked up a paintbrush way back in 1980 at the same time when I started doing calligraphy. I've always loved art, but wasn't fortunate to formally study it or get a degree. I painted some very basic florals, but also a few landscapes and ocean scenes, and even tried my hand at a 1940s style portrait. While on holiday in Cape Town, I found a piece of driftwood on the beach and captured the exact view I was looking for across the ocean towards the table mounting on this very special piece of driftwood. I treasured that little piece of artwork as it holds so much fond memories of my late family members who were with me at the time. My watercolour journey had to be put on hold due to her work and career. She goes on to say that she could only find a little time to squeeze in some painting and that would be on weekends and that was a huge disappointment for Terry. Fast forward to 2018 when having almost reached retirement age I took a huge leap of faith and decided to get back into my great passion in life which was watercolour. She goes on to say that she's so glad that she discovered our, our, our channel and our Patreon and can very proud of the paintings she's accomplished to date. So there we have a little bit of an insight as to our wonderful artist Terry and the paintings that I showed you on the screen there are all her own works and are incredibly high detailed. The painting that you saw of the anemone flowers there from uh, the launch of our brushes and again I'll link everything in the description box. Thank you Terry for sharing us your gorgeous works and um, it's such a privilege to know you and to work with you. Let's move on to our next artist. So next Next up, we have Julia. Julia has painted this stunning white daisy with gouache. Now over here on the Wonders of Watercolour, we do paint with other water-based mediums. We use gouache, also intense pencils if you're a fan of those, um, but this one has been painted with gouache. Now what I love about this is, first of all, its sharpness. There are lots of wonderful things I love about this. First of all, Julia has used Inktense pencils and gouache for this particular piece and it really jumps off the black paper. Of course, one of the things about gouache that's fantastic is that you can use it on different colored papers as we've done in quite a few of our tutorials. But I love the sharpness of this piece. When you're looking at the contrast between the white shades and the different shades of uh, grey. When you're looking at the sharpness of that white colour against that black background, it's absolutely beautiful. What I love about this piece is the detail. Julia has achieved all those little soft, the softness that you see in the middle, as well as that gorgeous green stem. And the level of contouring in this piece is sublime. When you're looking at the different uh, shadings that you've got on that white petals, on the white petals, it's absolutely beautiful. Um, I really, really love this piece. Julia tells me it was her first attempt at using gouache and black watercolour paper. And I love the way that the white glows on the page. 
I also enjoyed using what you have. That's one of my catchphrases, use what you have. Um, it's really important that you do that because you don't have to go out and buy special equipment to join in with us here on the Wonders of Watercolour. And that's what Julia's done here, which I love. And she goes on to say that she's uh, added uh, Inktense pencils to add the colour and shading. Julia has been painting since lockdown in 2020, having never taken art classes at school. So discovering your tutorials was a game changer for me. Thank you very much, Julia. I'm glad that you are enjoying our tutorials. Remember, this is a free tutorial over on YouTube. It's completely full length and we give you those outlines as well. I will link it on your screen here so that you can uh, click through to that if that's something that appeals to you. Um, we also have a playlist on gouache tutorials um, that you can check out here on our channel, The Wonders of Watercolour. Next up, we have Karen. Um, Karen has been a member of my community for quite some time and is a lovely lady and Karen has shared with us today this gorgeous juicy succulent blackberry painting. This is one of our free tutorials on YouTube and I think you'll agree that this is a sumptuous looking blackberry. The depth of colour that Karen has achieved here is sublime. I absolutely love the darkness that you can see on each of the droplets I think they're called of the blackberry, these little round bits that make it give it its form. You've got this gorgeous little highlight on each of them which Karen has achieved beautifully you've got the dark color in between each of the droplets which makes it three-dimensional as well as the red bits that you see there where the fruit is maturing you've also got this beautiful stem showing the fluffiness that you can see there as well as the papery threads at the top this is an absolutely beautiful painting Karen so thank you so much for sharing it with us. Karen tells us that this is one of her favorite pieces from our tutorials. And she goes on to tell me that this one was where I learned how to reach rich color through multiple layers. And that's right. One of the things with watercolor is you go in too quickly. If you go in too quickly with your watercolor pigments, it can go muddy and start to lift off the page. One of the things that's really important with watercoloring is layering your, layering your paint so that you get this depth of colour that you need. Um, by following our tutorial, that's what Karen's achieved and you have achieved it beautifully, Karen. So thank you so much for allowing us to use this painting as part of our showcase tutorial. So I'm going to call this the end of part one. We've showcased quite a few artists today in this video and I think you'll agree that they've all achieved a fantastic level of painting no matter how long they've been painting for. I've showcased you some paintings from our YouTube tutorials as well as a few from Patreon. Most of them are watercolour but of course we also have a little bit of gouache and a little bit of ink tents there as well. If you want to check out those videos I have put them on the screen as we've gone through each piece. I've tried to show you the a little card on the screen here so that you can click through and take a look as you go through. By all means go back and take another look and click on those links if you want to. Let's show them some love in the comments. Let us know which one's your favourite. If you've never painted before perhaps you can find some inspiration in these pieces to get painting yourself. Allow yourself to be a beginner if you are. Don't be frightened of making mistakes. One of the things that can be off-putting when working with watercolour is has such a bad press. We all know that watercolour can be a tricky medium to work with and we all know that painting with watercolour takes a little bit of practice and skill. We try to make it as easy as possible for you here on The Wonders of Watercolour. As I've said earlier on, we give you a free outline. You can now download them over on our free membership level on Patreon. It is totally free. There aren't any catches. Just click through to that link, register your account, and then you can download our weekly outlines for absolutely free, and they'll be delivered straight to your inbox. You haven't got to go searching over on our Facebook group as you did with our older tutorials. Remember, to use the materials that you have you don't have to go out and buy anything fancy that's what we're all about here on the wonders of watercolor if there's anything that you get stuck on we are always on hand me and my team over on facebook that will help you out with your questions and queries and of course by joining our facebook group there it's an opportunity for you to share your work both complete and works in progress and it's a great way of learning. We are an amazing community. I'm immensely proud of you all and I also want to say thank you because of course without you we wouldn't have 
a community at all. I also want to say a thank you to you for joining me here on The Wonders of Watercolour. To our wonderful artists today, thank you so much for allowing me to showcase your work. It's been an absolute pleasure looking at your finished paintings and we have got more lined up because I was overwhelmed by the number of you that wanted to submit your paintings to be showcased. They are incredible works and I'm very, very proud of you all. Let's show everybody some love in the comments today. Let us know what your favourite paintings are. Perhaps there's a particular one that, you, that stood out to you and that you'd like to try painting for yourself. Remember, you can do that by clicking on the links throughout this video. I'll put a playlist at the end of this video for you. If you have enjoyed this video, maybe you want to consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload new content every single Tuesday. If you have enjoyed this video, give me a big thumbs up. It's a way of letting YouTube know that you've enjoyed what you see and it means that more, more people can see me and help my channel grow and I'd really appreciate your support. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to my wonderful participants, my fantastic community over on Facebook. You are all amazing artists. My name's Ray Campbell. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you soon for more of this.